my darlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol and from now on this channel will be in English for as the videos that I do by myself and I'm super excited to be back and today I'm going to be filming for you guys everything I bought in Paris. I'm going to be showing every single thing I bought from my last year trip. Yes, it's been a year and a real long time and it's just good that I've been using those things for a year and enjoying every single second. Everything is tested so everything I'm going to show you guys it's things that I liked and things that I truly love. I hope you guys like it. So we're going to be starting with City Pharma, which is the super trendy pharmacy that my friend took me and I had no idea City Pharma existed until Maria showed me there. So I was like, it's only a pharmacy, like, so what? But now I understand the hype and now I understand like why people love it and why it's so amazing. So I have a few things. This is the NUX Paris. My travel essentials. It's like a little bag with every like all those little things and the reason why I bought it is for the oil Let's buy the little one and if I love it, I'm gonna buy the, the big one. I also bought this it has been My dearest friend actually bought one when I was there because I need a lip balm Paris is super dry and I bought this one and I was like completely obsessed So I bought five of these a Ven care for sensitive lips It's the best lip balm you're gonna ever gonna see like the best in the entire world. Also at City Pharma, I got this Roger Calais Ginger Berfouche. It's a perfume that I've used in the entire trip. Every single time I smell it, it just reminds me of the entire trip. You know, I never was one of these people that believed that there was like an emotional sense to perfumes, but now I do because I bought this and I used it my entire trip. And now every single time I smell it, I remember of Paris and every single place I went and this really do exist like you smell something you remember things this I also bought a city pharma it's a hair clip it's a french barrette and it's a bow and I'm really sad that I always when I try to clip my hair it always falls out but it's super cute Missy bought this one of those women from city pharma told me to buy it because it would be good for acne Rebalancing mattifying fluid with organic essential oils and with organic tea tree. It's from Florem. Just smells amazing. Every time I smell it, it reminds me of Paris because I've used it while I was there. Belvita is like something for the eyes. You put it here when you're just like going to sleep or during the mornings. This is the eye fresh roll on with corn flour floor water. So from Sephora, which is basically from friends. Me and my friend, we practically run through three Sephora's when we were there, Sephora for the French, and we wanted to buy Charlotte Tilbury. Insane good. I'm using my Pull Talk Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and lip liner that I also got. Practically wore to find those in Paris. I'm using it every single day and it's my favorite lipstick ever. Like, I, I'm not gonna change it for my life. And this is the face, is the eyeshadow palette. Like I, I couldn't find it, you know. I don't know. But this I bought here through a web 
website and this I got at the airport. Own post in England, it's a handmade in Switzerland. It's a hair comb. It's beautiful. I fell in love with it. I didn't take many things here. That's why I had to buy so many things. Okay. So this I bought at Versailles. It's a basically a mirror. That I, next, it's a little wallet I got in Mahet. And it's from Le Cleas pa Paris. And it's like two pockets and you close it and so chocolate-ish we have Maxime's de Paris which is now my favorite chocolate this I bought at Galerie de Lafayette Gourmet which is cute and this I also bought at Galerie de Lafayette Gourmet also the best chocolate ever insane we have my favorite tea in the entire world this is Mariage Fraise Rouge Provence it's the best tea in the entire world I chose it by the fortunes and it just came out to be the best tea I've ever had and the best tea I'm gonna be having my entire life because I saw it first at Le Grand Pissier and my friend was like no it's so expensive like don't buy it don't buy it and I'm like no but it's tea like I love tea and then we ran through another store at also in Mahé and then they showed me this and two more and I was like that's it this, this is the one and I will never regret buying this one so down at the trendy spot of Shakespeare and Company, I got the tote jacket sweater from Cajol or Carol, which is my name. So cute. Now let's go to Galerie Lafayette, which is paradise on earth. Not much paradise on earth as I expected, but still they have everything that you want. Hippeto ballet flats that I've been using it non-stop here. And they're like brown and then they're so incredibly comfortable. They're, they're the best ballet flats you're ever gonna have. Yeah. My teddy bears. This is Finn and this is Mila. They're Stif. They're my teddy bears. Mm, so cute. Also got it at the Lafayette kids floor. <laughs> so cute. Let's go to Deporté, which is Deport Halt for the American. And it's a store, it's a linen store, and it was super hard to find it on the streets. It was like a saloon, it was not a store by itself, so, I mean, and it was super pretty. I got a little napkin that I put on my bedside, and I also got a base towel, it's like a, a glove. And then you, from Le, Le Grand Pisserie, second floor, I got a fabric cut from Marie Antoinette's bed chambers to do something that I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> it's been years ever since I came back. I was gonna do curtains, but then I wanted to do a skirt. Still, it's so pretty, it's cotton. So the Ritz, exactly, the Ritz Paris. I also got it there. Super tiny and it's magical. Go inside. There's like a tiny, I wouldn't say a mall, but it's a tiny galerie that you go and there's like tiny stores into a corridor they have beers, they have you know monopoly games they have the red sweater from frame so i got four pens i didn't get the louvre pen Musée d'Orsay, Orangerie, Orsay too it's very nice Saint Chapelle gorgeous so i got this bag also in a tiny little store in my head Saying Mila Louise Paris necklace, this as I say medallion at Chapelle Notre Dame de la Medaille Miraculous, Medaille Milagrosa. And this tiny cord I got at Sajo, which is next to the church, which is at the Grand Pitié. And this is my marble egg. Barbara Streisand fans will understand. I got it at Louvre. It shines through, you know. There's a movie Funny Girl. Nick Constine gets. A marble egg to Miss Fanny Bryce, which is Barbara Streisand in the movie, and he has the obsession with marble eggs. He gets one for her. It's like a collection he makes every time he's traveling. And ta -da! and last but not least, the favorite thing that I bought in my entire trip has been my dream and everything that I hope for. Golden gooses. I bought them in Saint Germain. Gold and silver, like here it's silver, here's gold. Custom laces, set sneaker. These are the all stars. This is it, everyone. This is everything I bought in Paris. Of course, there are more things that I got there, and that I actually didn't like.
like it so i'm not going to be showing you people i feel so lonely, blessed and happy that i could be getting so many things because i could have been buying terrible things you know but i know i chose wisely and i chose really gracefully so thank you all so much for watching my video and make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next time bye